morning. Uh, welcome to my channel. I'm Half Psych or Hafsa Malik as you know me on Unacademy. Today we are going to learn about Martin Seligman's theory of explanatory styles. I know this is something a lot of students found confusing um, and reached out to me for an explanation as well. So this is what I decided to do today. I hope you're ready with a pen and a notebook. Um, yes so we'll get started all right now before we do move on to the actual theory i want to tell you a little bit about this wonderful platform called unacademy where i'm currently working um if you would like to join my band of students and if you would like to especially clear the nta ugc net exam which is upcoming you can totally join my course i'm doing a full course soon where i'll be covering all of the syllabus and if you'd like to subscribe you can use my code haf10 to get a 10 percent discount all right do not not forget that but let us move on to the theory all right so a lot of students also told me uh, ma'am what is attribution and how does it um, sort of relate to explanatory styles um, so attribution is basically what we attribute or account the outcomes of events in our life to all right so it's basically do I attribute things happening in my life to myself to other people to other events to luck to God right things like that so a synonym for it here is the explanatory style how do i explain things that happen in my life right causation and in both terms you can see that i am uh, trying for causation here right so you can say that in this theory we will be using both of these words interchangeably all right um so as said by seligman explanatory style is a cognitive personality variable which reflects the way that people habitually explain the causes of or events of life right what what is the cause of something that happens in my life and how do I explain it do I explain it as my own actions do I explain it as somebody else's actions let us find out what is actually happening all right um, so the first sort of clue or how Martin Seligman started working on it was when he was actually very ironically working in one of Ivan Pavlo's lab um, you know they would give electric shocks to dogs and they would see if the dog would try to escape again or not or the barrier uh, there would be a hurdle which the dog would try to cross and get a shock and the next time they wouldn't bother crossing now this was the model of learned helplessness right now we know that Martin Seligman later became a pioneer um, in positive psychology study and he gave the concept of uh, learned optimism learned uh, yes learned optimism and then authentic happiness right uh, and the character strengths along with other theorists um, so here we see that then they applied the attribution theory to this and they also found that some dogs even though they were shocked they did not give up trying to escape okay and they eventually did escape and they did um, sort of escape that pain finally all right so let's find out why people uh, some people like to try even after they're defeated and other people don't like to try even when they're not defeated defeated and Seligman did say that these uh, explanatory styles although they're part of your personality and they are relatively uh, stable but they can change and you can learn to behave differently all right um, huh. so what is attribute what is being attributed here is basically the pattern we all have in us right um, how we attribute things positive or negative things how do we attribute their outcomes in our life all right uh, let us move on right now what are you might be wondering that what are the different explanatory styles how do we explain our life right so according to martin seligman you have two types of explanatory style one is the optimistic explanatory style and the other is a pessimistic explanatory style uh, in an optimistic explanatory style more naturally you would tend to attribute a sort of you would look at life in a more positive light whereas in a negative or a pessimistic style you would look at life in a more negative light now let's look at what that could mean um, these explanatory styles also come with three dimensions the first one is internal or external now do you attribute things or do you say what is causing things in my life is it me or is it someone else internal is myself my personality external is luck god others friends somebody okay um, and then stable or unstable here also you see that stable is that it's not going anywhere right it's permanent 
stagnant. It's always going to be here. Unstable is that it happens sometimes and then it doesn't happen sometimes. Um, so maybe I did well in a test once. Maybe I think, oh, I just did well this once. Now, what kind of explanatory style would that be? Let's find out in the next slide. Before that, we have one last dimension, which would be global or specific. Global is also um, another word for it is pervasive, which is that it is across all areas of your life. If I think I'm a good person, if I think I'm honest, am I honest just at home or at work also with my friends also? Or is it very specific, right? Um, so if it's global, it is pervasive. It is across all areas of my life. But if it's specific, that means it's only in this one area of my life. Maybe I think I'm just honest or sincere at home, but not outside. Um, let's learn a little bit about you know what happens when the optimistic style combines with a certain kind of you know um, the three dimensions and how do they react when they combine with the pessimistic style of explanation now let me explain to you here in detail so you have the optimistic explanatory style which in turn is going to have all three dimensions in it okay um, so the way you mentally explain things that happen to you is at the heart of optimism right you're quite optimistic about the things that happen in your life so you explain positive events okay so you attribute positive events in your life let us say i did well in an exam i will attribute it or i will say it was caused by my own hard work personal all right stable i always work hard so this time also i worked hard i always score well this time also i scored well um and permanent right stable and permanent and global i will say that i'm a hard working person in general look i also work hard in sports i also work hard at home i don't give trouble to my parents i also work hard in maintaining good relationships with my friends right so i'm a hard working person in general so it would be personal i did it stable yes i always do it and then global in all areas of my life this is who i am and negative events here are attributed to not all the time but sometimes they are attributed to luck right let's say this one time i didn't do well i always work hard but this one time i got sick it was not my fault um, temporary would be it happened just this once it doesn't happen all the time right external would be that not because of me it happened because of the sickness because I had fever or because my friend didn't come to pick me up or I got late because of my friend to the exam right temporary would be it is happening just this once it is not going to happen again it does not happen all the time specific would be that I am not a failure elsewhere I just didn't do well in this one particular exam for whatever reason but other times I have always done well. I have good stable relationships with friends in my life. People trust me. I'm a nice person. I am worthy. I'm capable. But I made this one mistake which I can rectify. Alright, so this would be an optimistic explanatory style. And you see how for positive events it would be permanent, it would be pervasive or global and it would be internal or personal, right? And for negative events it would be external out from outside temporary just this once and specific only in this one area of my life just this one subject all right all right then you have the pessimistic explanatory style so if i am explaining from a pessimistic angle it's exactly the opposite of the optimistic angle all right um, so in case of negative events they will personalize it or they will internalize it but not in case of positive events so if something bad happens or my friend is angry with me what i say is i'm a horrible friend everybody is always angry with me i am the problem not my friends anger for bad events right and they perceive the root cause of the problem to be fixed permanent that it's not going to change that i am always a pathetic friend i can never help others that is why my friend is angry with me that's why everybody is angry with me now everybody can't be angry with you uh, all right it is just in the perception there's a flaw and they also consider it global you might think that oh my friend is upset with me i'm sure my boss is also upset with me i'm i'm sure my wife is also upset with me i'm sure my parents are also upset with me because i am a horrible person uh, do you see what is 
is happening here pessimistic you're turning basically you're snowballing something into something else because of your pessimistic explanatory style where you are attributing negative events uh, globally personally and you're calling them permanent right you're saying that they're not going anywhere um, but when something good happens to a person with a pessimistic explanatory style they tend to attribute it to luck they say just this once it happened and not because of me it happened because of good luck if i did well in an exam it is just because of luck okay i got an easy paper it is not my hard work is what they would say um and they would see it as temporary they'd say because see since i got lucky i won't always get lucky just this one time it happened right and then it would be very specific they might say oh so i got an easy paper in geography only geography i scored well other subjects i am bad even though they might be very very hard working and they might be trying their best in other subjects as well um i hope you understood something about the theory now we'll just take a look at a table which is going to help simplify it for you even further right here you have you have very very clear um sort of demarcations where if you are an optimist how do you um in various dimensions of time scope and source um how do you attribute it right so if it's a bad event an optimistic is going to say that it's temporary right it's going to pass it is not permanent it's specific just in this one area of my life and it is external that it is not my fault all right whereas pessimists will attribute negative events to uh, themselves right it's internal pervasive means in all areas of my life and permanent means that it's not going anywhere people are always going to hate me i can't do anything to change it right and likely you would see that pessimists are more likely to end up being depressed as well uh, there is proof for this whereas optimists are known to recover quicker from surgeries quicker from uh, pain related problems or health related issues as well all right whereas if you see optimists uh will attribute good events as personal i am responsible for the good things pervasive as in they will stay good things will stay because i am hard working right like we have in the locus of control also and here you have permanent that good things will keep happening to you because you're a good person and that if you work hard you will keep being successful whereas pessimists when they do something good or something good happens to them like a good exam result they say that it's just this once it's not Not going to happen always specific only in this one subject other subjects i am no good and external it's not because of me it is due to luck all right so this is sort of a comprehensive view of the theory i hope you understood something um i hope you understood my way of explanation and please remember i only teach in english as of now if there are students hindi students who would uh, want me to take classes um you can message me and if i get a lot of requests then i will think about it and try to do it all right um now thank you so much for watching my video i hope you have a great rest of the day this is my telegram channel if you would like to join it and if you do choose to subscribe you can use my code and then if you did like my class then go ahead and like share and subscribe all right bye bye and i will see you all um some other time thank you for watching